so soft. <laughs> this is the, my most favorite interview I've ever done. It actually is. I can't tell you how much fun this is. Hi, I'm Ollie Alexander, and I am going to be painting a self-portrait for Pop Buzz. <laughs> We're very excited. Can I just say, I'm I am actually colorblind, so I find painting, like, skin very hard because I, I get colours wrong so that's just my caveat before we start. Maybe I'll have blue skin instead. That's what I used to do at art in my art class. Anyway. <laughs> I love to paint. I've um, been painting a Am I going to give myself a blue face? I think I will. I think I will. A pale blue face. I've recently been doing some painting because um, when I make like the artwork and stuff for the singles or the album or all of it, this time round especially, I've just been like collaging, getting my paints out and I can't even paint, but I just like to do, it's just fun. It's fun, express yourself. So on the cover of Night Call, I am a mermaid. Oreo. <laughs> oh. Oreo really wants to be in the, the star, don't you Oreo? Oh, I've got to paint my face. Oh. Maybe, maybe he just wants to stay there. Yes. Get that camera time. <laughs> Dealing focus from me, but it's fine. I'm giving myself a, this is a mistake to have a blue face, but we're just gonna see how it goes. Oh yeah, so in the album, I am a mermaid on the front. And I really, I, I just love mermaids. I've always loved mermaids. And I really wanted to be a mermaid in a music video, but it's just quite expensive to, to pull that off. So I thought, okay, well, I'll just, I'll just be one for the cover. And the mermaid like really represented to me a lot of what Nightcall is about. And she was kind of an inspiration. Like just imagined her out at sea on her rock with her beautiful hair, just singing songs, like luring all these men to their deaths. And I felt like, wow, like I relate to that. And she's kind of an inspiration. Like Nightcall is like the mermaid's revenge, you know? She's just like kind of trying to get, yeah, that's anyway. So that's why I'm a mermaid. <laughs> there you go. Most of the album I made kind of in between, well, in lockdown, so like in between restrictions and stuff, and I lived by myself and I spent a lot of time alone and I just realized like, wow, I am really missing like so many things from just like going out, connecting with people, like meeting strangers, dancing, just all of that stuff that I really miss became kind of the focus for the album because it was just like, oh, I really, yeah, I want to experience those things again. Don't know, see, has anyone done this? Use the other side of the brush when they're painting? Maybe not, but I am. I'm very happily, I'm now like, well, I'm not as lonely just because, you know, I'm like out seeing, meeting people and, you know, like recently I went to a little party, a friend's birthday party, that was nice, loved it. And yeah, just like how, I'm just a, have a new appreciation, I suppose, of just like being able to spend time with my friends and, you know, have a bit of fun when you can. It's important. This is looking really scary and just like, like nothing. Like it's not even a face yet. And I want it to be good. <laughs> but I want it to, maybe it should, <laughs> it needs to dry. All the songs are kind of like my babies, do you know what I mean? Um, so it's hard to pick one. But I would say like, Crave is definitely one of my faves um, from the album. I just love the vibe so much uh, and it kind of like encapsulates. Yeah, just a lot of different. When I listened to it, I felt like I was in a spooky, like haunted house ride. And I really like that feeling. So I, if that makes any sense. But also Nightcore, the title track. I just love it because it's like so fun and I got to kind of express myself in a way that I haven't really done too much of in the past. Spending any kind of time with Elton John, I would be like shaking. For, for ages, I was just like, oh my God, it's Elton John. Like, this is crazy. Same, same with Kylie, like being like, oh my gosh, I've seen you for like my entire life. I've grown up like watching you and now you're here and yeah, but it's like, I love that feeling, you know, being, being starstruck. It's kind of cool. I think it's nice. I remember once um, Liam Gallagher, I met Liam Gallagher and um, he, he was very nice. He just, he was like, he called me a funky chicken. <laughs> and, uh, I don't know why, but it's like, thanks. Thanks, Liam. <laughs> is, it, is that, that's brown, isn't it? It's, it's actually, it's gonna be something. It's definitely gonna be something. I'm, I, I thought it was gonna be like completely terrible, but actually I think it's gonna be fine. I'd say I'm an astrology person, but I don't take it like super seriously. I find it just fun. Like I, I can be like, yeah, I'm a Scorpio rising and an Aries moon. <laughs> I don't really know what that means beyond sort of like little bits, but uh, yeah, I enjoy a bit of astrology. What's your star sign? Cancer. 
I'm pretty Cancerian in that way, yeah, very emotional, very watery, water signy. But I feel like you could kind of say that about everyone, right? Most of us have emotions, right? I'm an equal opportunity star sign kind of guy. And also, like, people are always like, oh, avoid Geminis, avoid Scorpios, but I love Geminis and Scorpios. Some of my best friends are Geminis and Scorpios. And I've, and I've loved many of them too, so there you go. But I've got to say, I do love Geminis. I love a Gemini. Something they always keep you on your toes, you know? <laughs> and a Scorpio. Maybe I'm more into astrology than I thought. Nearly 200 people complained <gasps> that you were dressed too sexy for TV. They did. <gasps> Guilty. Lock me up. <laughs> this is the thing. I'm very. I, I just. Everywhere I go, people complain too sexy. But the thing is, it's kind of a back, back, kind of backfired because it's only just going to make me want to be even sexier, you know? So. Hey, Oreo. I used to wear a lot of like hats that weren't, I don't think, very flattering when I was like a teenager, trying to just sort of hide my hair, but like really, like really extra long beanies. Do you remember those? Really long beanies. <laughs> not good, not a good look. No one wants that. When I was a teenager, I had really, really big hair, like, like grew my hair really long to try and hide my ears because I had really sticky out ears. They've since been pinned back. <laughs> Well, one of them was pinned back. So anyway, I had really big hair to hide my ears, then I would wear a hat to hide the big hair, and also hide the ears. It was just a lot of, you know what I mean, it's kind of that, kind of that vibe. Yeah, my ears, they can stay. Sorry, this is actually, it's not bad, is it? Who's played themselves in a movie about themselves? I wonder if anyone has. Okay, well, if it wasn't me, who would I want? I don't know, Florence Pugh? <laughs> She'd probably be really good. <laughs> it would be... Agent... Sexy? <laughs> Agent Sexy. And my superpower is being too sexy. So, there you go. Are you impressed? When I was younger, I used to listen to the radio. There would be like a few different songs that were like the good luck songs. And if I heard that song, I was gonna have a good day. It was Beautiful Liar, Shakira and Beyonce. If I heard that on the radio, I was like, it's gonna be a good day. <laughs> it's my only superstition. I once had this recurring nightmare that I was being chased by three big ghosts. A mummy ghost, a daddy ghost, and a baby ghost. And they were different colors, like a big blue ghost, big yellow ghost, and then a little red ghost. That was a recurring dream I had. Also, I don't know if you know, remember something called Goosebumps, which was like a TV show and a book series by R.L. Stein. I think it was R.L. Stein. And I once had a dream that I was playing pool, a recurring dream that I was playing pool or snooker with like all these characters from Goosebumps. <laughs> Uh, and I also had, used to have recurring dreams that the world was ending as well. Quite weird, and I had to do something before the world ended. When I was a kid, I went to Warwick Castle <laughs> and saw a ghost. <laughs> <laughs> I like fully saw it come out of the painting. I know it sounds crazy, but I was, I must have been about 12 or 13 years old and I was in a part of the castle and I was looking at a painting and the ghost came out of it. <laughs> it really did. Like, I, that's what I saw. It's so strange, I can't explain it, but that is, that's what I saw, so. And I also, I love to believe that stuff, like ghosts and spirits, like I don't know what, how much of it's really real, but, you know, some of it must be, right? UFOs are real. <laughs> Not got any ears. So, if anyone's got a diary, they know how deeply embarrassing it is to read them back. It's just like, oh my God, why was I the worst person in the world? I'm so embarrassing, I hate myself. But it's also really nice in some ways to just have that like, link to your past, you know? Like, I usually just write in my diary when I'm like, f having some real feelings about something. So it's like, oh, so-and-so is really annoying, but I love them. <laughs> <laughs> and less about like, stuff I did, which is annoying, because there's loads of stuff that I don't remember, and I'm like, oh, maybe I wrote it down, but I just didn't. I'm like, why don't I just write down the stuff I did? But well, recently I went through them just because I was moving house. I remember when I was like 12 years old, and I know this because I just I saw it in my diary recently. I, I walked in on my friend reading my diary who was like sleepover in my house and I walked in and he was reading my diary and I was like, and then I wrote about my diary. <laughs> uh, but it was fine because I hadn't really like put much in it at that point. So I didn't, like I wasn't worried that he'd seen too much. I would love to write a book. I love books and I would lo I'd love to write one. I'm sure it would be so hard. I think. My book would have to be, have some kind of like magical element to it. Maybe like a mystery to it. I haven't really, I need to think about this. I'll get back to you. <laughs> be about a painter. 
I actually, I think I've done a good job. I'm proud of myself. I'm proud. I just think I need to make my eyebrows a bit bigger. Okay. I'm done. <laughs> it's done! It cannot be added to. It's perfect. Oh, am I, am I, wait, can I give myself some eyelashes? Oh no, that was a mistake actually. I thought I made it work. Never mind. <laughs> I'm done! <laughs> Do you like it? This is what it came from. <laughs> so I chose to make my skin blue because, oh God, because um, I, I don't know why. Well, because I couldn't, I just was not going to try finding a skin tone. But I thought I'd focus on features that, you know, like my teeth, my eyebrows and my hair and some jewellery and that's like... That's me. That's all you need. <laughs> it's always the most fun here. I love my artwork. I mean, it doesn't really look like me, but... <laughs> <laughs> Thank you so much for watching this video. If you would like to see more, just hit... <laughs> if you would like to see more, make sure you subscribe to Pop Buzz.